Chang Peng Zhao, known as CZ, was born in 1977 in Lian Yungang, Jiangsu Province, China. His parents were both school teachers in China. His father was a professor who was exiled to rural areas shortly after Cizo's birth. In the late 1980s, when he was 12 years old, he immigrated with his family to Canada, settling down in Vancouver, British Columbia. During his teenage years in Canada, CZ helped to support his family by holding down a number of service jobs, including working as a fast food clerk at a McDonald's restaurant and a gas station. CZ attended McGill University in Montreal, Quebec, where he majored in computer science. After graduating from McGill, CZ was selected for an internship in Tokyo, working for a subcontractor of the Tokyo Stock Exchange, developing software for matching trade orders. He later went to work full-time for four years at Bloomberg Tradebook, where he was a developer of futures trading software. In 2005, CZ moved to Shanghai to launch his business career, where he established his first technology startup company called Fusion Systems, which was known for some of the fastest automated high-frequency trading platforms and systems for stockbrokers. CZ first heard of Bitcoin in 2013 when playing poker with Bobby Lee, brother of Charlie Lee, who would later go on to found BTCC, Lee advised CZ to put 10% of his money into Bitcoin. CZ instead went all in and sold his apartment in Shanghai and invested all of his wealth in Bitcoin, much to his family's dismay. In 2013, CZ was a member of the team that developed blockchain.info, and he also served as chief technology officer of OKKeyCoin. OK in 2017, CZ founded Binance, a cryptocurrency exchange that would soon become the largest in the world by trading volume. Binance was unique in its approach, offering a wide variety of cryptocurrencies for trading and focusing on maintaining low transaction fees. This strategy quickly attracted a large user base, and Binance grew rapidly. Binance's success catapulted CZ to the forefront of the crypto world. His personal wealth skyrocketed along with the value of Binance Coin, BNB, the native cryptocurrency of the Binance platform. His innovative approach to the crypto exchange model and his commitment to the growth of the crypto ecosystem earned him a respected position in the industry. However, with great success came increased scrutiny. Binance's rapid growth and CZ's outspoken nature made him a prominent figure in the crypto world attracting the attention of regulators worldwide. This eventually led to legal troubles, culminating in his sentencing in 2021. In November 2021, Zhao's legal troubles began when he pleaded guilty to violating anti-money laundering laws. His cavalier attitude towards legal compliance encapsulated in his mantra, better to ask for forgiveness than permission, did not sit well with prosecutors. They recommended a three-year prison sentence, longer than what guidelines prescribe. However, Seattle Judge Richard Jones was not convinced that Zhao deserved such a lengthy sentence. Instead, he sentenced Zhao to four months in prison. Despite this relatively short sentence, Zhao's case is unique because of his immense wealth. With an estimated personal fortune of $43 billion tied to his ownership of Binance, Zhao is set to enter the history books as the richest person ever to do time in U.S. federal lockup. Despite his incarceration, Zhao's wealth is likely to grow. Binance's business is expected to accelerate amid crypto's latest bull run. Even though Zhao has relinquished his chief executive title as part of his deal with the government, his influence on the company is still palpable. The new board of directors is dominated by his close friends, and the mother of three of his children plays a significant role in running its operations. The arrangement with the Department of Justice has drawn criticism from some quarters of the cryptocurrency market. Critics argue that the DOJ should have charged more people connected to Binance and barred them from the financial industry forever. Dennis Kelleher, president and CEO of the advocacy group Better Markets in Guawang, stated, if you're not going to punish the others, he deserves the most severe sanction possible. In addition to his prison sentence, Zhao agreed to pay a $50 million personal fine. Binance itself agreed to $4.3 billion in penalties to settle a case that involved a litany of alarming allegations linked to violations of anti-money laundering and sanctions laws. 
Chung Peng Zhao's journey from a computer science graduate to the richest prisoner in the world is a testament to his entrepreneurial spirit and the transformative power of the cryptocurrency industry. His story serves as a stark reminder of the high stakes involved in the burgeoning world of cryptocurrency. As the industry continues to evolve, the implications of CZ's case will reverberate throughout the financial world. His case serves as a cautionary tale for other entrepreneurs in the crypto space about the importance of regulatory compliance. As the world continues to grapple with the implications of the growing influence of cryptocurrencies, the story of Chang Peng Zhao will undoubtedly continue to be a topic of intense discussion and debate.